A senior commander in Iran's Revolutionary Guard says this week's missile strike aimed at U.S. forces in Iraq was just the start of a series of attacks across the region. It comes as President Trump appeared to seek a de-escalation in the tension between the two countries, imposing more economic sanctions instead of ordering a military response. The fact that we have this great military and equipment, however, does not mean we have to use it. We do not want to use it. After a briefing Wednesday, Utah Senator Mike Lee says administration officials told senators not to debate the appropriateness of further military action against Iran, despite the Constitution giving Congress the power to declare war. When we send our brave soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines into harm's way, we owe the American people the decent courtesy to follow the Constitution to debate and discuss these actions. The House is expected to take up a resolution this afternoon aimed at limiting the president's ability to take further military action against Iran, something President Trump does not support. He tweeted this morning, hope that all House Republicans will vote against crazy Nancy Pelosi's war powers resolution. It's a very big issue now because it's nothing less than preventing war as we honor our first responsibility to protect the American people. Virginia Democrat Tim Kaine has introduced a similar resolution in the Senate. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. All right, very interesting story there, and the world is watching.